Hey guys, it's me again. Today we are going to be having a look at the 454 Big Block RDA by Kryptonite Mods. This atomizer is made in the USA. Uh, stainless steel. Uh, none of the websites I went to would tell me what grade. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's 304. Um, it has a full copper post, uh, copper pin center post. Uh, the cool thing, the drip tip doesn't come with it. It comes with a uh, Delrin drip tip slotted on the sides on the bottom instead of having an opening like this. It has two side through holes uh, to prevent spit back. I do not know where that drip tip went. But we are going to be having a slight build. I already have the coils assembled because it was quite a pain for me with my trimmer to build. Uh, and there would have been no way for me to be able to do it on camera, so I do apologize for that. Um, if you want, I'm not sure if Rip Tripper does a full build, but you can check out his video as well. Um, I don't think he does. But we're going to get down into it. So it comes in multiple pieces. You have your top your top cap has fr fins for cooling, single O-ring, kind of a conical design. Then you have your barrel. That's your air hole chamber. And you see, you've got all these different uh, air hole configurations. You could have single coil, dual coil, or quad coil. So, it's really versatile. And then on the barrel, you have your airflow control to, uh, sleeve. And pretty much all it does is, uh, lines up. I'm going to stick my finger in there to make it easier to rotate. There you go. You can close it off completely. Open it up. You know, it's an airflow control device. And then here is the deck. And it does have my builds on it already. The uh, negative post is the deck positive post is naturally in the center but it has four holes in it so you can stick your leads through uh, not the easiest for me to build and uh, normally I would just do a dual coil on it but for the purposes of the video I went ahead and did a quad um, I've seen a lot of people do uh, eight coils and uh, I was not about to attempt that so, this build ohms out to 0.19. It takes a second to heat up. It's, I did it with 26 gauge. Um, But <clears throat> normally, I do it with 24 gauge. And that's a bit of a pain to try to uh, try to get through those center holes because they all cross all the leads going through the center post have to cross over each other. And 
through each other and it's just it's a bit of a pain trying to fight it through um, so I got my four pieces of cotton and this the way it's set up with the uh, vertical coils come on focus there's not a whole lot of space between the coils and the deck wall. Uh, so it's going to be hard for me. To, there's no possible way I, I can pull the cotton from underneath and up. So I'm going to have to go down. And it's going to be a little difficult. Uh, this is pretty much how most people build it that I have seen. And these are some of the issues that you could come across. So I want you to see how it goes. Uh... I haven't built on one of these in months, close to a year. So you'll get to see my bumbling about. I got some really thin strips of cotton. And uh, I'm going to put some juice on them. And then try to force it through now forgive me if I go out a shot a couple times on this because I am trying my hardest to not deform these coils as I pull this cotton through and uh, quite frankly I'm not too good at that um, one of the best ways I've found to do this maybe not the best way to do it but the best way I found to do it for me is to get something like a small drill bit that will fit down through your coil without being tight and to just force it through um, that's how I did it the last time I built this and I need something a little bit tighter than that so, we're going to, uh, where is that? Okay, I'm going to see if I can't pull this cotton in here out. And now I can just pull it through. And there we go. That's what I want. So I'm just going to fold that off to the side. And I'm going to work on the next one. I'll clean it all up when I'm done feeding the cotton. So you just rinse and repeat. Do the same process over and over until you're done. And uh, it can be quite tedious so if you're not a patient person this is probably not a build for you okay get it nice and tight Zoom out a little bit so you can see. I 
should have a decent enough amount in there to uh, be able to grab a hold of and uh, pull it out. same thing. There we go. And now for the last one. I'm sorry this has taken so long, guys. It's just, uh... It's really tedious. And, uh... Really... Uh... Tedious, yeah. That's the best word for it. Now we get to the fun part. Scissors. Where'd they go? There we go. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to push the cotton down in it. Push the cotton down in it.
And it's not tight in there. It's not crammed in there tight. It's just loosely packed down in there. That'll make sure that the uh, juice can flow through the cotton easily. Making sure this is all nice and saturated. And then that's one of the good ways, uh, good things about setting it up this way is uh, you can drip straight down through the top and it's going to go straight to your coils. Got a lot of juice to burn off before it. There we go. As always, you want your air holes directly over the wicks. So, not that you can see much in there. Now we're going to see how it vapes. Very nice, very smooth, uh, very airy draw, which is what I like, especially with them uh, with the air holes wide open. Plenty of vapor, plenty of vapor. Now, one thing I like that a lot of drippers, a lot of manufacturers are starting to do. It's just a top cap that comes off and you can drip straight down. So with this being a 0.19, it's gonna and the loose cotton, it's going to burn through juice really fast. So you're not gonna get but a couple hits off of it before uh, 
if you build it like this before you have to drip it again. It's very nice. It's, it's a warm vape. I don't normally like them this warm. I usually try to stay around 0 0.23, 0 0.25. Um, that keeps me in the realm that I like to be in. But as far as, you know, flavor goes, if you want more flavor, tighten off the air holes just a little bit. And, uh... It, uh, it'll put out some flavor for you. It'll put out a heck of a lot of vapor. So, um, would I buy it again? Yeah, yeah, I'd buy it again. Um, I bought one a while back. Uh, like I said, pretty much right when it came out, I bought one. And, uh, it lasted for a while, and then uh, I traded with somebody for uh, for a different dripper. I forget which one. It's been so long. Um, and then I managed to get a hold of this one. Excuse me. I managed to get a hold of this one. So uh, would I buy another one for me? Yeah, probably. If I had the spare money, I'd, I'd buy one. Um, like I said, I'm not really that big into dripping, but for here around the house, I can drip and be satisfied. Uh, and this will do it. This will satisfy me. And now I'm having to drip again. Uh, by the way, I am using... Uh, Yummy Nectar Summer Melons. Uh, six milligram nicotine. Um, Max VG. The lady who makes this juice has a PG allergy. And that's why she came out with her own line. She couldn't find any flavors that she liked in Max VG. So she came out with her own line and now... Now she's got a bunch of flavors that I uh, that I myself could enjoy all day. It really puts out, huh? It's a very nice, very nice vape. I forgot how much I enjoyed it. So, there is the 454. Um, the only thing I would like to see done is the, the uh, airflow sleeve is really tight. Um, it's, it's really tight. I got to take the whole barrel off, pop the, uh, pop the sleeve loose from the barrel, and then line it up and that can be irritating if you want to change your uh, airflow on the fly most 510 drip tips fit uh, the drip tip it comes with I do not care for at all it's really wobbly um, yeah it prevents spit back but I'm not getting spit back with this either and it's wide open but, uh, yeah, the drip tip it comes with is really wobbly. I just, I, th I think that's, you know, crap. Uh, if, if you're going to make your own personal drip tip to go with your atomizer, make it fit. <laughs> make it fit right. 
And another issue I found with it is uh, it touched the top of the positive post. So it was uh, too long, too loose. So that's why I got rid of that drip tip. Um, those are the negatives. The positive, uh, well, another negative is the difficulty of build. I would love to see, and that's really loose. It took nothing. I mean, just, and it, it comes off. Uh, I'll, nothing. Nothing. Uh, I would like to see, instead of having to capture the wire with screws around the screw, I would like to see, uh, kind of like on the center post, some holes for you to send the wire through to make it a little bit easier to capture. Um, granted, I think there is a version 2 of this out, but I'm kind of out of date right now, so... The pros is you can set it up about just about any way you want. You know, single coil, dual coil, quad coil, um, eight coil. I mean, it's crazy. So, <clears throat> I think that's about it. We'll take uh, one more hit off of it and then we'll call it done.